Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, one more content, motion of masses string. Okay, here we are considering one block and which is connected with a string and there is a force exerting with F. Okay, mass of the string is M, mass of the block is capital M. And what is the uh, minimum force required to accelerate it with an acceleration A is F equals to M plus M into a, which is giving you minimum force which is used to move with an acceleration A. And basis of this uh, we are writing with respect to A, what is the acceleration of this block? A equals to capital F, nothing but applied force divided by mass of the block and uh, mass of the string, combine it together. Okay, what is the tension in the string? Here, this is the block. Here we need to uh, apply here we are applying a force what is the tension exerting on this block tension will be in the string exerting force on this block so the tension we am considering it as t1 so what is the tension tension is equals to mass into acceleration what is the mass of the block m yeah. what is the acceleration of this acceleration is a so we will get tension is equals to mass into acceleration so we are getting tension is equals to mass into what is the acceleration formula this is the formula so we can substitute in this tension is equals to mass into force divided by total mass of the system nothing but uh, mass of the block and mass of the string right now what is the tension at midpoint tension at the midpoint here i am taking half of the string here this is the half of the string mass of the half of the string is m by 2 mass of the block as it is there is a tension produced i am considering it as t2 what is the acceleration a so tension t2 is equals to mass of the block mass of the string totally m plus m by 2 into acceleration a so we can take acceleration of this system so tension t2 is equals to if we take lcm and substitute then we will get the formula 2m plus m divided by m plus m into f by 2 he is giving you tension at the midpoint. Okay, we are considering only string. Mass of the string is m, first end a, second end b. What is the minimum force required to pull with an acceleration a? f equals to m into a according to Newton's second law. And here, what is the tension? at some distance from the force exerted nothing but from b end tension at a distance from b end here we are considering from b end is x remaining distance will be l minus x why because total end we are considering it as l total mass of the string is m and what is the mass of the first end what is the mass of the second end here i am considering m1 and m2 what is the mass of the first end m1 equals 2 here we are making it into parts okay total mass is m total length is l so we will get m by l is giving you unit length mass okay and how many units l minus x units length mass is required so we need to multiply with l minus x okay and similarly what is the mass of the second end second end mass is m to be considered each unit mass is m by l and how many units are there here x units so m by l into x okay right now what is the tension at this point so l minus x is the length of the string so what is the tension exerted t1 is the tension exerted t1 is equals to m1 a okay what is m1 m1 is nothing but this is the formula so we can substitute here L minus x divided by m into L minus x divided by L. But what is A? A equals to F by M. So, mm gets cancelled. So, we are getting T1 equals to L minus x divided by L into F. mm cancelled. Okay? Directly you can take. And what is the tension on this part? Okay? What is the tension on this part? Here we are taking only x distance. T2 we are considering left side. Right side F is the force exerting. So what is the force exerting on this? F minus T2 is equals to M by L into X. This is nothing but mass of that part 
and acceleration is a. So we'll get f minus t2 is equal to m by a into x a. What is a? a is nothing but f by m. So we can calculate in terms of without mass of the term. Okay. This is one more. Next case. Here we are taking the same string length. Mass is m. Total length is l and l minus x x. Okay. Force exerted from F1 at a distance x. Both the sides F1 and F2 forces are exerting. So, what is the tension at x from the F1 end? A equals to what is the acceleration of this? Force difference. One side F1, second side is F2. So, F1 minus F2 divided by m. Why? Because net force is required. A equals F minus F1, F2 divided, F1 minus F2 divided by m. And similarly, what is the force exerting? What is the minimum force exerted at this point? F1 minus T is equals to M by X into L into A according to this formula. Okay. Here we considered a T2. Just here we are considering P. Okay. So we are getting the same formula. Combine it together. What is the tension at that particular point in terms of force F1 and F2? Okay. Similarly, if you substitute the like, like this, then we will get one more. What is that? F2 minus T is equals to M into X minus L minus X divided by L into F we will get. Okay. In terms of A. So, tension T is equals to combine it together. If you we'll write an equation, we are getting like, like this. T is equals to F1 into 1 minus X by L plus F2 into X by L. This is one more. And next, coming to if it is suspended. Okay. If the string is suspended from the root, the same consideration, but it is vertical. Here, what is the force exerting at the lower portion? F is the force exerting. At uh, x distance from the lower portion, T is the tension. At this point, tension T2 we are considering. Okay. Here, this is T1 we considering. T1. This is T2. Right now, we are considering the part. This is the part. L minus X part we are considering. Lower portion, T1 is exerting in downward direction. In upward direction, T2 is the tension exerting on the roof. Then T2 is equals to T1 plus one more part, mass of this part. M by L into L minus X. Gravity will be acting. So, M by L into L minus X into G. That is giving you tension at this point. Here, coming to the second part. This is the second part. What is the force acting? Only weight will be acting and force will be acting. Weight of this string and force. So, force plus M by L into X into G. Instead of A, we need to take it as G. Why? Because vertically... I, uh, vertically suspended, acceleration becomes acceleration due to gravity. So, tension T1 is equals to F plus M by L into X into G. This is giving you the concept of motion of the massive string. Okay. Thank you.